my way of being able to give back to the community, to the profession, to investigators everywhere, but most importantly, to my fellow human beings. One reason is to help you know, the victims. I think what's really gotten me more engaged, though, is seeing the benefit. The more I've begun to understand just how large of a need there is uh, to have these cases work, and seeing how we can really network all of these people together to provide resources and work these cases, for me, um, is the exciting part. I couldn't pass it up. It's a great organization and a great uh, team. You know, we have over 100 people, I think, involved in the, in the group now, and every one of them is an expert in their own right. We've got about 300 cases that we're working right now uh, in those different areas, which includes the homicides, uh, sexual assault, missing persons and unidentified remains. We want to give people not only the awareness, but we want to give them some tools, some tangible tools, so that they do not become victims. And that's something that I think is very, very critical that we're not really doing today as a society. You know, what motivates me, obviously, is, you know, I wake up in the morning and I look at my family and I say, man, I'm, I'm blessed. <laughs> And then on the other side of that coin, I look at other families and I think to myself, you know, they need help. These are real human beings, real families uh, that have been impacted and friends that have been impacted. And so I think that human touch, that reality uh, of the humanity of it uh, is one of the things that uh, is contagious and, and, and drives you to move forward.